Hallelujah. Yahweh Barak, you all, Yisrael. Ko Yisrael, you that are scattered throughout the four corners of the OLM. Those that are here with us at Teshua, and those that are listening by via of live stream, we do extend the Berdekiah of Yahshua HaMashiach upon you all. We do have someone that's going to speak tonight. A special word from Almighty Yah, Zakei Ishai. And just, Yisrael, let us remember why we are here at these feast days. The purpose, above all things, that we may be prepared because there is going to be a feast day in the Shemaiah. A time where we all should gather just as we gather. In the Ruach HaKodesh, with one mind, one love, and one purpose. And that is to see Yahweh and to do all that he has commanded us to do. So I'm not going to prolong any longer. We do ask that Zah came, hallelujah, that he will come forth. And as he comes, let's greet him with a hearty hallelujah way. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful feast yes. that Yah might have given to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. We turn yeah. our Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for his tough gifts. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you will, come with me with to Jeremiah 31, yeah, verse 1. Right, yeah. Hallelujah. Yah love Israel. Yeah. The Abba love Israel. Yeah. Out of all the people of the earth, yeah. He have chosen you and me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, at that, at that time, declared Yah, I should be the Yahweh of all family of Israel, yeah. and they should be my people. Thus say Yah. A people escaped from the sword, found favor in the wilderness. Yisrael, when he went out to find rest, y'all appeared to me from afar, saying, I have loved you with the everlasting love. Therefore, I shall draw you with kindness. I'm going to build you again. And you shall be built. Yes, oh, maiden of Israel, again, you should take up your tamarind and go forth and dance of those who rejoice. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Yah said so he will build Israel again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the mighty love of the Abba. Of people. That he had chosen to himself. He called us a peculiar, a special people Hallelujah. unto him. Yes. That he had drawn us to himself. Yes. On, the love of an Abba. Yes. That love us Hallelujah. with such a mighty love. Yes. That we can't understand and get it all. But one day we will, Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day we're going to be able to praise him to the highest. Hallelujah. 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 Because of his great love Hallelujah. that he had for us, in spite of all our sins, Hallelujah. all of our frailty, all of our weakness, Hallelujah. Yah have called us Hallelujah. to himself. Hallelujah. All the power. That's in the Olam, that's in the Shemayan, that the sun get his power from Yahweh. The moon, the stars, and everything that breathes, everything that it is created, get his power, energy from Almighty. But yet, he's the light with the sons of Yisrael. 
Oh, that does something to the mind, doesn't it? To know how greatly you are loved by the Abba. No one can love you like him. No one. He says, Israel, there's no other savior. I'm the only one. I kill, I make a lie. I blind, I give sight. It is I, it is Yah. I'm the one. No one else. And to know that you and I were born of that seed. And I want to read something. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. I want to show you this great love. 2 Corinthians 5 and 21. A great love. Such a great love. Such a mighty love. Such an awesome love. He said, for he, for he had made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of Yah in him. Todah Yah. Hallelujah. Sin came in through one man. And sin brought forth death. But Yahshua Hamashiach conquered and destroyed sin in his body. One who knew no sin became sin. He received our sin into his body. Hallelujah. That sin took him and slayed him on the, on the stake. And after three days and three nights, the father raised him up. And Yahshua HaMashiach defeated sin in the body. And all his enemy he had defeated but except one. And that is death. Hallelujah. And death going to be made his footstool, Israel, y'all. Hallelujah. But I told our y'all today that he has given us the scripture to understand. He's given us the scripture to open up our mind to receive his love and embrace his love and to know how much we are loved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Toda Yah. And once you understand that great love, it will rise you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To know that you are loved by the above. First John 5. First John 5. I mean 4. First Yachanan 4 and 11. Beloved, if y'all so love us, we ought to also love one another. No man has seen y'all at any time. If anyone loves, if, if, he, if we love one another, y'all dwells in us and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us his ruach. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me go down to verse 7. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Okay, this is what I want to do. Go up to verse 10. Here is love not that we love Yah, but that He love us. Not that we love Yah, but He love us. And because love gives, He gave us His only brought forth Son for us, that we might become the righteous of Yah in Yeshua HaMashiach. No other way. That is the love of the above. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Jeremiah 32. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Well, let's go to Yehazian 54. Yehazian 54. Sing, O barren one, you who did not bear. Break forth with the singing, cry out loud. You who have not been in labor, for the children of the desert, deserted one, are more than the children of the married woman, said Yah. Enlarge the place of your tent. And let them stretch out in the curtain of your dwelling. Spare, spare not, lengthen your cause, and strengthen your state. For you should break forth. Break forth the right and to the left. And your see, your zero, should inherit nation and make desolate cities inhabit. This is what Yah said we are going to do. And if you can remember, it has a 61 verse. It said, the Ruach of Almighty Yah is upon me. Because he have anointed me to preach the good news, the, the, the tough news to the, to the meek and to, and to proclaim. The, let me go read this. It, it is an awesome thing. Yeah. Let's go there. Yehazel 61. I want to show you something here. The love of Yah. What Yah said that he's going to do in Israel. Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said. The Ruach of Yah is upon me because Yah has anointed me to preach tough titles to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and to open up the prisons of them who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yah, the day of vengeance of our Yah, to cover all that moan. Yah got a day of vengeance. And that day of Yah is going to come. And we are in the last days. Hallelujah. And probably in the last hour, the last minute, the last second. But the day of Yah is going to come. And all are going to know that he is the almighty one. But he told us before those days come, these days must end. The day of man must end. And we are in those last days. And after those last days, Yahshua HaMashiach going to come back for all Israel. Yeah. And he give us signs and, 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 and symbols in the, in the scripture that we might know the times and the season. Told I, yeah. And the, all the world, all the world is getting ready for the mark of the beast. He's getting ready for everything that's coming. But Israel, yeah, yeah say he pre pre be prepared for the last day. Make preparation. Getting our hearts right. Giving our minds right. Knowing that we are the people of Yah. Told I Yah. Hallelujah. He said that there's going to be a time in a trouble that's going to come in the old land, in the earth, like never before since there was a, 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 a time. And he said there's going to be three and a half years of great tribulation. And you can see all the signs that's getting ready to this. To this calling that the heavens are being shaken. The earth are, are moving. Because the word of Yah stands forever, Yisrael, Yah. And he said here, he said that. To appoint to them the morning in Zion. To give to them the beauty of ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The governor pray for the Ruach of heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness, the plan of Yah, that he might be extinct. Now, we just read, it said that, he said, they should build the old waste, and they should raise up the farm of desolation, and they should re repair up the waste cities in desolation of many generations. Oh, what a work that Israel going to be doing. Hallelujah. Shawu said that. He said, he said, I desire to know the power of the resurrection of Yeshua HaMashiach. When that sin came into his body and, and, it, and, it, and it slew him and put him on that stake, 
But after three days, three nights, he got up, he conquered sin and, and death in the grave, Israel. Right, he did it for you and I. And we get an understanding that Sean Wu said that. He said, he said, oh, miserable man that I am. Who can deliver me from this body of sin and death? Israel, you and I must understand the struggles and the fight that we are going through. It's because of the sin that's in the body. Hallelujah. 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 Let me, let me just read this. Can I just take my time out? When it's over, it's over. Hallelujah. And it'll be over soon. Hallelujah. Let's go to Hebrews 8 and 1. We want to just read scripture and let scripture talk to you tonight. Is that all right? Just let this. Now in the summer, what we are saying is we have such a high priest who is seated in the, at the right hand of the throne of the greatness in the heaven, in the Shemayan, and who serve as a set apart place. And of the true tent, which y'all set up, and not man. Y'all set this up? Yes. Not man. Man messed it up. But y'all set it up, not man. For every high priest was appointed to offer both gifts and slaughter, so it was also necessary for this one to have somewhat to offer. For if indeed he, if indeed he, he, were the, he was on the earth, he would not be a Priests, since there are priests who offer the gifts according to the Torah, who serve the copy of the shadow of the, of the, of the heavenly Shemayan as Moshe was one when he was about to make the tent. For he said, see that you make all according to the pattern, show you on the mount. But now has, he has obtained a more excellent service in as much as he is also a mediator of a better covenant. Yes, hallelujah. Which was country on a better promise. For if the first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for the second. We, we messed the first one up. We messed it up. But the love of Allah said, Israel, I'm going to make a new covenant with you. Not like the old one. He said, for the, for the final fault with them, he says, see the days are coming, says Yah, when I shall con conclude with all the house of Israel and with the house of Yahuda, a renewed covenant, not according to the covenant I made with their father in the day when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Mazarim, because they did not continue in my covenant and I disregarded them, said Yah. Because this is the covenant that I should make with the house of Israel. Now listen to me, Israel. Listen what he's saying. We got to see what is written here. He said he's going to make a, a renewed covenant with the house of Israel after those days. After those days. Not in no days or during no days. After those days, said Yah, those last days when Yah day begun. He said, says Yah, give my Torah in their heart. I shall write them in their, let me see, give my Torah in their minds. And I shall write them in their hearts. And I shall be their Yah. And they shall be my people. And they should by no mean, no mean teach each one his neighbor. Are we teaching our neighbors now? Are we teaching? We have to have the teachers now. We got to have the uh, the the the, 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 the We got to have the 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 the, the uh, 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 um, the reoc. Each one his brother saying no, y'all, because they all should know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them. Because I shall forgive their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawlessness, I shall no longer remember. By saying renew, he has made a, the first old 
Now what become old and grown ages near disappearing. He's going to make a renewed covenant with the house of Israel. And Yah said, I'm going to write my Torah in your heart and in your mind. Torah, Yah. And I'm going to cause Israel to obey me. When Moshe was up on the mount and he came down with the Ten Commandments in his, in his hand. Yes. And he had Israel out. And, 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 and Yeshua thought he was, they were having a, a party. Okay? And Moshe said, no, they, they, no, 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 that ain't what's happening. And he filled Moshe with anger. And he took the commandments of Yah that was written on two tablets of stone and thrown down and broke them and destroyed them. And they was written, not by man, but by the hand of Almighty Yah. Yes. 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 And he had to go and rewrite it again. Right there on the mount. Yah was going to forget all Israel, Yah. And he said, Moshe, I'll make a great nation out of you. Forget them stiff necks. Forget about them. Let them go. I'm through with them. But Moshe... Because he was a man of Torah. And he knew the Torah. And he reminded Yah of his Torah. And Yah had the bag back. Don't forget what you promised Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov. Hallelujah. Right then, Yah forgave us. Right then, he made a new covenant. He said, Yisrael, you're stiff necked you're hard-headed, you're disobedient, but I'm going to give you a new heart. I'm going to give you a new spirit. I'm going to write my laws in your heart. And Israel, you're going to obey me. Yeah. What the love of a father. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty love. Only a bar can do this, Israel. He tells over and over again, I'm the only one that can save you. We have women everywhere trying to do all kind of things, picking up idols and picking up the gods and all these things that we've done, trying to save ourselves. And Yah said, Israel, I'm your only savior. Toda yeah. Yah. Hallelujah. Abraham 10 and 1. He said, The Torah have a shadow of the tub matter to come. Not the image of itself, the, of the matter was never able to make perfect those who drew near. With the same slaughter and offering which they offer continue day by year by year. Otherwise would they have not ceased to be offered. Because those who serve once cleaning would have no more conscience of sin. We still have conscience of sin. Hallelujah. But in those offering in the remembrance of the sin year by year. For it is impossible for bull. For blood and bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, coming to the world, he says, slaughtering and male offering, you do not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. And bringing offering and, and, and offering up for sin, you did not dis, dis delight. Then I said, see, I come in the, ro in the role of the book is being written concerning me. To do your desire, oh Yah. Sin above slaughter and, and meal offerings and burnt offerings and offering of sin. For sin he did not desire, nor, de nor delighted in, which are offering according to the Torah. Torah, Yah. Hallelujah. According to the Torah. Then he said, See, I come to do your desire, Yah. He took away the first. To establish the second. By that desire, we have been set apart through the offering of the body of Yahshua HaMashiach once and for all. Yes. Indeed, every priest standing by day by day doing service and repeatedly offering the same slaughtered offering which are never able to take away sin. The problem we had was sin. Because of what one man done, sin came into the Olam. And sin 
brought a friend along which is death. And death have come upon every man. Yahshua HaMashiach destroyed sin, did away with sin, but Israel, sin still lives in our body, and that's why we must die. Yah. But there is a resurrection. There is a resurrection. There is a resurrection. Torah Yah. Hallelujah. That Yah is going to raise this round up when that trumpet sound. The body will get up out the ground. Oh, what a great news. Torah Yah. All that the Abba have done for Yisrael Yah. And Yeshua HaMashiach said the last man, enemy that he's going to destroy is going to be death. Ezekiel you talk about it. Jeremiah talks about it. Isaiah talks about it. Yeah, you talks about it. Hallelujah. Torah Yah. All the great things that Yah have done for Yisrael Yah. He loved you with the ever lasting love and we need to embrace his love we need to understand how much the Abba loved me and we search the scripture to see how much he loved me not that I love him but he loved me Yah. and he said love is long suffering Yah is long suffering it has to be with us Yah is patient with us. Yah is kind with us. Torah Yah. Torah Yah. This is the love of the Abba to Israel. Yah. How Yah, uh, Yah can I say, what a great love, what a, such a love that He had bestowed upon us that we should become the sons of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's a great love, Israel. Yeah. That is a mighty love that Israel, yeah, we need to understand and we need to embrace that love. Hallelujah. Because uh, let's go to, let me show you something up here in, in Romans, what Shah was saying about sin. Hallelujah. Because sin is still our problem. Hallelujah. Sin is the problem. Sin is what's going on, Israel. Yeah. And, and he said here in Romans 11, not 11, 7, I mean, Romans 7, and let's start at verse 11. Now look what Yah is saying through the emissary that he's trying to get to us to see here, Israel, Yah, for sin taking occasion by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me wherefore the Torah is Kodash and the commandment is Kodash just in tub there's no doubt about that he making that plain ain't he it, it, is, it is tub it is just told I yeah he said was then that which is tub made death unto me y'all forbid but sin, sin, that it might appear sin work death in me by that which is tub. That sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. For we know that the, that the Torah is spiritual, but I am carnal soul on the sin. For that which I do, for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would do, that I do not. But what I hate. That do I. If then I do that which I would not, I can send unto the Torah that it is to. Yeah. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. Torah, Yah. Now this is the man that wrote that Yah used mighty. He said, but sin dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwells no tough thing. For to will is present with me, 
and how to perform that which is tough, I find not. Told I, y'all. He began to get an understanding that this sin is in him, and the only thing that's going to destroy sin in the body is the body must die. The body must die. And after death, that's all sin do for you is over. But the body is full of sin and all these things. That's why we got to take the Torah and, and cast these imagination thoughts down. We got to take the Torah and renew ourselves. We got to take the Torah. Hallelujah. And learn how to live in this life. Hallelujah. By the power of the Ruach HaKadosh. Through the word of Almighty Yah. Through Yeshua HaMashiach. Who came and gave us life and that life more abundantly. That we can be full of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we can be full of power. Hallelujah. He said walk in Yeshua HaMashiach. And the scripture said Yeshua when he came up out the tomb, yes. he said, now all power has been given unto me in the high Shemayan and in the earth and beneath earth. all power. Now, if he got all power, he got it. And if he got it, he got it from Yah. Yes. Hallelujah. So when he tell us to walk in Yeshua, walk in Yah, that means we walk in obedience to Torah, understand the teaching of Torah, and then we are walking in all power because we're walking in Yeshua HaMashiach. Torah Yah. Hallelujah. Shavu said, he said, I live yet not I, but Yash, he's not, I was impaled with Yeshua. I live, yet not I. But Yahshua, how much you live in the life I live now in this flesh, I live by the power of the Son of Yah who loved me and gave himself for me. That's the love of Yah. That's the love of Yah. Yahweh show his love through Yahshua, how much Told that Yah. Hallelujah. Shawu understood that the only thing that he, understood, he had to understand that. Yeshua had conquered sin. He had conquered the grave. He had conquered death. But he under, had understood that the sin now is still in our body. Darwin said we were shaped in the sin. My mother conceived me. And Israel, you and I, was nowhere to be found when Adam's in Hawaii sin. But yet, we was born a sinner. Why is it so easy for me to believe that? And I believe that from the day I heard it. First day I ever heard it, I believed it. Matter of fact, I knew it was a sinner before everybody ever told me I was. Why is it so hard for me to believe when Yeshua said that I have redeemed you unto you? I have forgiven your sin. You've been redeemed. You've been set free. I have let you free. I've saved you. I've healed you. Why is it? So hard for me to get that. When I read about my, my fathers a, uh, 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 that was in the wilderness that y'all brought out of, out of Mazarim. Y'all said this about them in Hebrew. He said an important lesson to me. He said in Hebrews about, about our fathers. He said the only reason they couldn't go in the promised land because they had an evil, wicked heart of unbelief. An evil, wicked heart of unbelief. And he told us to take heed now unless you follow that same example. They didn't believe y'all yeah. could get them water in the wilderness. They didn't believe y'all could feed them. They didn't believe you. They were full of unbelief, Israel. Yeah. Yeah, and they provoked the Kodesh one of Israel. Yeah. Told her, yeah. Because a wicked heart of unbelief. You must believe all scriptures. Everything that is written. Yahshua said man must live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Abba. Yes. Hallelujah. I must live by the, by the knowledge of his love for me. I must live by the knowledge that he has forgiven me. I must live by the power of the Ruach that Yahshua, Hamashiach. Yes. Hallelujah. 
have bestowed upon Israel. Todayah. Hallelujah. Oh, the only love for a father. He is a father that have a forgiving heart. And he began to say that Israel, he said, I was a husband to you. Todayah. When I read that, I said, oh, wow. Yah was a husband? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I went to Ephesians 5th chapter when he talked about husband, love your wife. Because that's talking about Yah too. Uh-huh. He said, husband, love your wife. Well, he's a husband of Israel. He's talking about himself too. And it tells us, it's a great mystery. I'm speaking for a Yahshua in his assembly. And I found out through scriptures, Israel. Told I um, got sweat coming in my eyes now. And I, you know, so I can't read what I want to read, but I know it. Hallelujah. Told I, yeah. He said that he was a father to Yish, uh, a husband to Yisrael. Yeah. And he said in, in Ephesians for husband to love his own, his wife. If a husband don't love his wife, he don't love himself. So if I'm the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach, he, he loves me. Hallelujah. Todayah. Todayah. Oh, what a great love that the Abba had restored upon us, Israel. Hallelujah. That these great times that's coming ahead where we Going to be doing great and mighty things, but what I see in the scriptures this way, y'all, and y'all open my eyes to see certain things that I never saw before, and now I see it is written, and if it's written, I can believe it, I can preach it, I can say it, because it is written. Told I, y'all. Hallelujah. I started seeing all the great things that Israel y'all going to be doing. Y'all say, Israel, you are my battle axe. My weapons of war. Israel, we ain't got no airplane. We ain't got no nuclear bombs. But we got the power of Almighty y'all. And that's all we need, Israel, y'all. Told that, y'all. Hallelujah. There's coming a day. Isaiah... Yes, he talked about. He said he he told him the, the Navi to look out. He looked. He was traveling and through a valley full of dry bones, everywhere. And he said, "Can these bones live again?" Yeah, Hazel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ezekiel said, "You know, y'all." He told him to begin to prophesy, to begin to speak to those bones, to that yeah. And those bones began to come together. And I believe Ezekiel, uh, Yehazel, uh, Ye- Ye- Ezekiel uh, 37, 12, y'all said, when I bring you out the grave, Israel, y'all, I'm going to raise you up out the grave. And when I raise you out of the grave, you're going to know who I am. You're going to know that I'm y'all. And the whole world going to know that I love you. Hallelujah. Oh, that's a great thing that's coming for. Hallelujah. How are we going to be used by the almighty y'all? Y'all say he created a world and he didn't create to be empty. Now, Israel, I know from my own self and from all of Israelite, if y'all didn't do it, we couldn't, he wouldn't have it. He got to do it. He got to do it. He's going to do it. He, Abraham, believed and stood on the promise of y'all. We got to stand on these great and mighty premises of Almighty Yah. Told that Yah. What did Yah say about me? I'm a liar. I say things and don't keep it. I do things, but Yah don't never lie. What do Yah say about me? What did Yah say in the scripture about Israel? Yah. What did He say? Because Yah can't lie. Well, if He said it, He's gonna do it. Told that Yah. If He said it, He's gonna do it. If he said it, he's going to do it. And I can stand on Israel, y'all. You can stand on that promise. You can hold those promise. And I'm telling you, y'all said it would never fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Told that, y'all. Oh, the love of an Abba. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, what a great, what a mighty love. 
it, it takes my mind and just bring ease to my mind. It brings joy to my heart. When I see the struggle that Shawu had, when I see the struggle that, that be, but when I see what Yahshua, what Yahshua, Yah said it pleased him to bruise him. So if it pleased him to bruise him, it pleased him to bruise us. I read just the other day that Yah said, Yisrael, Yah, he said, I have blind your eyes that you can't see. He told Moshe, I will harden whoever hard I want to harden. I will soften whoever hard I want to soften. Do you not understand, Israel, y'all, that Pharaoh would have been and let Egypt go, let us go, let our father go out of Mazarin, but y'all hardened his heart many times? Many times y'all hardened his heart and he couldn't let go. Many times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you're reading Romans 11, it'll tell you why y'all blinded us, Israel, y'all. He'll tell, he's telling Moshe, he said, Moshe, Moshe said, y'all, he said, I can't speak right. Sin, my brother. Why are you going, I can't speak right. My tongue is tied. My words ain't coming out right. And y'all said, Moshe, who made man dumb or deaf a mouth that can speak? That's all right. Ain't it I? Mm -hmm. Told I, y'all. Hallelujah. Whatever you are today, y'all made you like that. And he's going to get esteem out of your life. Hallelujah to that, y'all. And you have to praise him and honor him and lift up your hand and give him praise for who you are and what he has made you to be for your color, for your size, for everything about you. Because he's fiercely wonderful, made you, and he said, you are tired in my sight. Hallelujah. When you mumble about how you look, you're mumbling ground against y'all almighty. When you complain and look at somebody because the way they speak, you are coming against Almighty, y'all. Told that, y'all. Hallelujah. Nobody in here created themselves. Everyone here tonight, you had a mother and you had a father. And you had nothing to do with your natural birth. You had nothing at all to do with your natural birth. You had nothing at all to do with you being born a man or born a woman. A born in Mississippi, a born in Chicago, a born in South Carolina, North Carolina. You didn't have nothing to do with that, Israel, y'all. Told that, y'all. It was Almighty, y'all, who brought you forth out of your mother's womb. And he said, I knew you before I ever shaped you in your mother's womb. Told that, y'all, hallelujah. So I ain't got a lot of knowledge, but I got enough knowledge to know this, Israel. I have enough understanding to know this. If I can't do nothing in the natural, how am I going to do something in the spirit? If I, had nothing, if I couldn't have nothing to say about my natural birth, then somebody got to create me. Somebody got to bring me forth. Somebody got to take care of me. Somebody got to watch over me and protect me because I can't do it myself. To that, yeah. Hallelujah. Told her, yeah, come as a little child. Yeah. Ain't no child here worried about they're going to have any food tomorrow. Ain't no child worried about no bill. Ain't no child worried about where they're going to live, where they're going to stay. Hallelujah. He said, come as a child. Know that I'm your Abba. He said, he is the Abba. He is the Abba. How many of you fathers, your children are taking care of you? Are you not taking care of them? Are you not providing for them? Are you not putting up for them? Are you not taking, them, taking care of them? Well, your bar is taking care of you. I know sometimes I can be doing something. And my little girl or uh, son was there, let me let me help that. Let me do it. It just really be in my way. Yeah. But you know, you step back and let them try it. But they're really just in the way. That's what we do, just in Yah's way. He know how to save you, Israel. Yeah. He know how to deliver you, Israel. Yeah. He know how to get you to the promised land. He know how. He know where it's at. He know the day they're going to get there. He know it all. Yeah. Told Yah, hallelujah. Yeah. 
And I rest in that. Hallelujah. Because I know I'm messed up. I know I can't do this. Hallelujah. It's good top news to me. When I read scripture like this, that is top news for me, Israel. Yeah. And I have hundreds of those scriptures over and over again. And I said, Toda Yah, hallelujah. You mean this is written in Torah? Hallelujah. Toda Yah. Hallelujah. The love of the Abba. Hallelujah. The love of the Abba. Hallelujah. When I don't drink a lot of water, this is happening to me, and I sweat like this. When I don't have a lot of water, and I haven't been drinking a lot of water, I'm going to go to yeah, Hesley, yeah, 37 and 12. Yeah. That's Ezekiel, I mean. Ezekiel, yeah. Just in case I'm not pronouncing this right. 37, verse 12. Hallelujah. Because I want to prove my point. I want to give what is written this way, yeah. Hallelujah. Therefore, prophets, I say, you should say to them, Thus said the Master Yah, See, O my people, I am opening your grave, and shall bring you up from the grave, and shall bring you to the land of Yisrael Yah. And you should know that I am Yah when I open your grave, O my people, and bring you up from the grave. I shall put my Ruach in you, and you should live. I shall settle you in your own land. And you should know that I am Yah. Has spoken. I have done it. Declared Yah. I got to believe that. I must believe that. I will not doubt that. Toda hallelujah. Yahaz the Yah. Jeremiah. 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 24. In four. Again, the word of Yah came to me saying, Thus said Yah, the Yah of Yisrael, Yah. She tell us he's Yah, and who he the Yah of. He's not Yahweh of the Christians. He didn't Yah, Yah of the Jews or the Muslim. A Muslim like the boy wants to sit down in Chicago. He is the Yah of Yisrael, Yah. Told our Yah. We are not preaching to Muslim today. I'm not in the place where people have a strange speech. Torah, yeah. You know the Torah. Hallelujah. He said, Yisrael like, like the tub, like the tub fig. So I do acknowledge the, the exile of Yis, uh, Yahuda, and I have sent him out in his place for their own tub into a land of the Caribbean. And I should set my eyes up on them for tub. And shall bring them back to this land. And I shall build them and pull them. Toda Yah. Hallelujah. I shall bring them back to this land and I shall build them and not pull them down. And shall plant them and not pluck them up. And I shall give them a heart to know me. Oh, we're going to know him. That I am Yah. And they shall be my people, and I shall be their Yah, for their shield, for, for they shall turn back to me with all their heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to turn back to him, Israel. And you'll do it with all your heart. See, Yah said, Yo, Israel, Yah, love Yah with all your heart, all your soul, all your might. And we understand that he first loved us. So he loved us with all his heart and all his soul and all his might. Oh, what a love the Abba have for his people. Oh, the love that the Abba have for Yisrael. Hallelujah. Toda Yah. Oh, it burns my heart with joy, Yisrael. And all the scriptures and the hundreds of scriptures and all through the book that I've been, I got and wrote them down. Get them and read and study. I said, Yah, Toda Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to see Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. In the resurrection power. See, y'all, we're going to have to become like him. He's not coming like us. He once made like us. He's not like us now. 
Now we got to become like him. Told I, yeah. There's no good tub thing in this flesh. None. There's no tub thing in this flesh. Told I, yeah. Hallelujah. Told I, yeah. There is nothing tub in this flesh. Y'all said this. He said, Israel, I remember that you are just dust. I remember that. To that, yeah. What can that dust out there do? Unless the wind come and blow it. That dust will lay down. You won't be no dust no winter until the wind blow it. Dust can't do nothing unless the wind blow on it. Y'all, Ruach got to blow up on this right, y'all. And he let us know when they're going to breathe upon it. He said, after those days, after those days, hallelujah, told I, y'all. And there's a great tribulation, the last three and a half years of great tribulation is always almost upon us, this right, y'all. And the whole world, the whole financial system is breaking down. Told I, y'all. When I hear these things and I read these things, all that taking place in the United States, all over the world, it, it brings joy to my heart because I see my, my, my word coming to pass. It don't put fear in my heart. Come, Yahshua, come. Come, Yahshua, come. Told I, yeah. Hallelujah. Told I, yeah. Hallelujah. Daniel said that. In the book of Daniel, he said that he cried out to Yah because he wanted to know what was happening with Israel. Yah. And Daniel began to, to get a vision. And Yah began to show him things that was coming. Begin to show him the end time. Begin to show him great and mighty things that he can write these things down that we might read them. Hallelujah. It said it is written that you might know. That you have eternal life. It is written that you might know. Y'all ain't hold no secret back from us. It's in the book. It's in the Torah. He said he that hunger and thirst out the righteousness shall be fed. Hallelujah. I have a hunger to know. Hallelujah. I have a hunger to know. What going to happen after it's all over? Told I, yeah. What is going to happen after it's all over? What's going to happen then? Hallelujah. When are we going to be building in 10 or some old five, some old 10 city? When, where, how? Hallelujah. Scripture begin to show us this, right, y'all. Told I, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These things that Yah have done through Yeshua HaMashiach and what they're going to do with Israel, Yah. Hallelujah. Told I, Yah. He said, I'm going to give you one heart to know me. Hallelujah. He had to write it again in Moshe time. Hallelujah. Lord would let us know that he writing it again. I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to write it in your heart, Israel, Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because this, 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 this Ruach Kakadish, hallelujah, told that Yah. Said he, 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 he can't put new wine old, in old wine skin that bursts. Hallelujah. Told that Yah. The scripture talk about two resurrections. Told that Yah. The first and the second one. Hallelujah. Told that Yah. Blessed he to have part in the first resurrection. Hallelujah. That the second death have no power over him. Hallelujah. To that, yeah. Hallelujah. Your, uh, Yoel talks about it. That army that y'all are going to bring forth a mighty army. Going to stand up on their feet. Going to march in range. Fall up on the sword and it won't hurt them. Hallelujah. To that, yeah. We're going to have a body like Yeshua HaMashiach. Told our Yah. Hallelujah. And we're going to be marching out through the world. When Yeshua comes back, all the other kings going to be turned down and pulled down and towed down. And the kingdom of Almighty Yah going to set up his kingdom. And going to rule and reign. Hallelujah. 
Todaya. Todaya. Said, a thousand years we're going to rule and reign with Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Y'all told, y'all told Adam said, the day that you eat of that, you're going to die. The day that you eat of this fruit, you're going to surely die. The day you eat, you're going to die. That day, you're going to die in that day. And Kippur, let us know a thousand years is like one day of the year, and a young one day is like a thousand years. No man ever lived a thousand years. Some lived 800 years, nine, but no one ever lived a day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Told that Yah. But Yah is coming through Yahshua Hamashiach for his body, for his bride. Hallelujah. And he's going to raise up out of that grave. going to raise up. going to put his rock up. We're going to stand on our feet. And the mighty of my yard going to come forth. And he's going to shake this nation. Shake nation all over the world. Hallelujah. Oh, what a day. He said they're going to build old wastes and men from a desolation. Going to rebuild. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over four billion people going to be killed. All this stuff that happened. You got to rebuild. Oh, what a marvelous time, Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That puts up in my lab that make me just leap for joy to see and know these great and mighty things that's been to take place in a people that y'all call Israel. Oh, what a love the Father has for us. Do that, y'all. And I begin to see that love. I have no doubt in my heart that the Abba loves me. Hallelujah. If I'm deceiving that, I'd rather be deceiving that to be deceiving anything else, Israel, y'all. I will lay down and die knowing that he loves me because he said he loved me. Hallelujah. He will never forsake me. He will never leave me. He say, I love you forever, forever lasting. So that beyond this life, that's beyond the grave. Time, it got no limit on it. How you going to stop counting? Hallelujah. Through that, yeah. All the way through the scripture, he's talking about the day of Yah. Man, a heavy day. Y'all give man a number of days he's going to have. And we're in those last days. And when that day is over, Yeshua HaMashiach is coming back. And all these signs are talking about this world was created on a great bang. I say it was created by the Almighty Yah. But it's going to end by ba- a great bang. Y'all going to give you your bang. That trumpet going to blow and sound that so far. Going to shake the entire world. Hallelujah. Every eye going to see and every ear is going to hear and every tongue going to confess that Yahshua HaMashiach is the son of Almighty Yah. Told I Yah. And we're going to weep and moan. Hallelujah. Told I Yah. See our fathers, Yah said that they didn't receive the promise yet. The day will not be without us. We'll receive it at the same time. Right. Hallelujah. Do you know, Israel, when you went to bed last night, you woke up this morning, you knew where you were. You knew your name. You knew everything that you had to do today. You knew what you done yesterday. You know it. You knew it. Our father, they wake up no matter how long they've been asleep. They're going to know. Told out, y'all. Hallelujah. They going to know. Those, the people going to know. They had idols. They're going to know they've done wrong. And they're going to weep and cry because y'all, the Almighty, with that great love. Oh, help me understand how much you love me, y'all. Help me. Show me in scripture. If I see in scripture, I can believe it. I ain't going my own thoughts, my own mind. I want to see it written. If I see it written, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to believe it. Told out, y'all. I won't let go of what is written. Hallelujah. I will not let go. See, only way that anybody can see Y'all have to open my eyes up. And I believe this, Israel. See, I, 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 I use the things that I know in the earth 
And I know that I had a, a good father, a tough father. He, you know, he, he was a tough father. And I knew he loved me. I knew he loved my mother. I knew he loved my brother and sister. I knew that. I knew that. And I knew that he would take care of me. I remember one time we was going to, to uh, Clarksdale, Mississippi. And it was raining hard. And I'm looking out trying to see, and I couldn't see the highway. And I said, Dad, I can't see. So, son, I can see. Just lay down and go to sleep. I'm the one driving. And I laid back and went to sleep. My body know where he's going. I can be at rest. My father know where he's going. He knew me for I ever conceived in my mother's womb. Told I y'all. And I know this much in my natural life. If my natural father didn't want to be with me, didn't want to be with my mother, he could have left. All of my crying would have done nothing about it. All of my tears went done nothing about it. All of my sad heart went done, went do a thing about it. Because he had made a decision, he didn't want to be with us anymore. So, I have enough sense to know that my Abba don't want me. Ain't nothing I can do. Ain't nothing I can do. He got to love me on his own. I am a helpless, rotten, scum, fleshly, nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't even know how to get back to joy without that, that, that system. How do I know? What do I know? If I don't know the least, how can I know anything else? I must believe Israel, y'all. I must believe. I must find something in the scripture that I can put my belief in and hold on to the end. And I found something, I would hold on it to the end. Told I y'all, hallelujah. It does my soul very good, very tough. It does my soul very tough to know that I have an above. They got all power. I was thinking about it the other day. I, I had all that belief in my earthly father who was a man. Who was a man. A little old weak man that died. And I had all that belief in him. Didn't even know about the Abba in the heaven of Shemaiah. Didn't even know nothing about him. But I had that much belief in my earthly father. I didn't believe nothing that he couldn't do. It didn't make no difference to me being born in Mississippi. It didn't make no difference about, about, about all the prejudice. Nobody going to touch me with my father around. I believe that. And now I know my Abba, and I'm not going to believe him. You mean tell me I can have that kind of belief in a man that died and left me, and I can't believe my Abba? I would never, ever doubt him. Now, that's one thing that I know he gave all Israel the power to believe. He gave every man on earth the power to believe. Everybody believe. But what do you believe? We only believe what we see, what we have been taught, what we heard, and what we know. We can't be go beyond that, Israel, y'all. And I'm not trying to go beyond that. But the word of Almighty Yah. I heard Shawu said that I am persuaded that nothing can separate me from the love of Yah that's in Yahshua. I'm a Shiok. I am persuaded too, Israel. I am so persuaded that he loves me. I am so persuaded. I know that I know that I know that all the years when my, uh, when my earthly father got killed and my mother and I at, 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 at 11 years old without parents, 
It was Yah that took care of me. I didn't know it then. It was Yah that took care of me. He fed me. He clothed me. And I didn't even know him, but he knew me. Hallelujah. Told that Yah. He took me through from Mississippi to Chicago through all those games. At 18 years old, Blackstone Rangers, Gangsta Disciples, all of those games, I was living in the neighborhood and never became a game member. But they tried to make me become one. And I had guns, many guns in my face. I can't count the time I had guns stuck in my face. People wanted to kill me, but y'all kept me alive. And the first gun I had put in my face from these thugs, they surround me like cowboys. Had that pistol in my face, and then one had a little young boy, about two, two years younger than me, with little, and he said, I ain't pop nobody in two days. I want to pop him. So he was of that guy, Blackstone gangster, and he, our boy, got shot down. He was one of them. I said, I don't know nothing about that. I'm not, a, I'm not in no game. I'm from Mississippi, man. Don't know nothing about no game. And the leader said, I believe him. Let him go. Now I want to pop him. And I was so scared, snow on the ground, five below zero. And when they left me, I was so angry. I was so scared. I fell on that, on that snow on my knees shaking. And all of a sudden, the anger hit me. I got so angry. I got so angry. I said, I'm going to go get me a pistol. And the next somebody come in my face looking for him, I'm going to pop him. But I couldn't get a pistol. I couldn't get a gun. Then I said, I'm going to go back to Mississippi. But I couldn't go back. I didn't go back to Mississippi. And all I had then, Israel, was that heathen name that my mother used to tell me. But the faith, it was Almighty Yah that kept me. Told I Yah. Hallelujah. Told I Yah. One person came to my house one time with a nine millimeter and rang my doorbell and said, Mr. Jesse Lewis. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. <clears throat> and the gun would, would not go off. My wife was there. My little children was there. My children were small. I jumped back, slammed the door, and nine rounds went through my door. Y'all killed me. I was stabbed in the head with an ice pick. At eight years old, I said, I'm going to die. Y'all killed me. Hallelujah. I fell off the back of a truck in the highway. Y'all killed me. Death tried to hit me, but Yah Almighty, I didn't know it did, but my father was with me. And now I know through scripture that he loved me. How much greater belief should I have in him now, Israel, Yah? Told I, Yah. It's the power of the Ruach of Almighty, Yah. Told I, Yah. That he had for all Israel, Yah. And this mighty love that the Abba had for me. And all I need to offer is my belief. I believe you, Father. I believe you, Abba. You say I'm wicked. I believe you. You say I'm no good. I believe you. You say I'm a worm. I believe you, Yah. You said none is righteous. No, not one. I believe you. All have sinned. All have gone astray. No seeking after me. No, not one righteous. I looked to see if I could find a man. I couldn't find not one. Told I, yeah. Hallelujah. Yet, the father said, I'm going to love you anyway. I love you because I love you and you ain't got nothing to do with my loving you. I chose you. You did not choose me. Told I, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Israel. If you just understand that your Abba love you. Hallelujah. He love you. He said, I love you with the everlasting 
love. Hallelujah. I want to read one more scripture if I can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To thy yah. Oh, his mighty love that Yah have for Yisrael. He said here in Romans, Hallelujah, eleven and one. Hallelujah. No, Romans eleven and six. If by favor it is no longer of works, otherwise favor no longer favor. And is it of a work? It's no longer favor. Otherwise, work is no longer work. What then? Israel had not obtained what it seek. But the chosen did attain it, and the rest was hardened. As it has been written, Yah has given them a spirit of deep sleep, I not to see. Yah said he did this. Ears not to hear until this day. That we always said, let that tablet become a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense to them. And let their eye be backward, not seeing, and bow down their back away. I say then how they stumble that they should fall. Let it not be. But by their fall, deliverance had come to the Gentile to provoke them to jealous. If their fall is the riches of the world, and they're full of the riches of the Gentile, how much more their completeness? For I speak to you, Gentile, and so much I am, I am a servant of the Gentile. I esteem my service. If somehow I might provoke jealous those who are my, fl- uh, are my flesh, I say us, us flesh, and say some of them. For if there is a casting away, But if there is a casting away, if the restoration of favor of the world, what is there accepting but life from the dead? Now if the first fruit is set apart, the lump is also. If the root is set apart, so are the branches. If some of them, if some of the branches were broken off and you being a wild olive tree had been grafted in among them, and come to share the root and fatness of the olive tree. Do not boast against the branches. And if you boast, remember, you do not bear the root, but the root bear you. You should say then, the branches were broken off that I may be grafted in, tub by unbelief. They were broken off and you stand by belief. Not, be, do not be arrogant, arrogant uh, but fear. For if Yah did not spare the natural branch, he might not spare you either. See then the kindness and the sharpness of, the, of Yah on those who, 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 who fail sharpness. But towards you kindness if you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you also be cut off. And they also, if they do not continue in unbelief, should be grafted in. And Yah is able to graft them in again. That's what he said. I, he said, I'm going to rebuild you again. I'm going to do it again. For if you were cut off of the olive tree, which is wild, wild by nature, and was grafted in contrary to nature, the nature into a tub olive tree, how much more should those who are the na- natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree? For I do not wish to be, for you to be ignorant of this secret. Lest you should be wise in your own estimation of hardness and part had come on Israel until the completeness of the Gentile has come in. And so all Israel should be saved. As it had been written, deliverance shall come out of Zion. He should turn away the wickedness from Yaakov. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sin. Truly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Toda yah. Toda yah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Surely I, 
we got to talk, this is my covenant then, when I take away their sin. Truly, as regarded the tub news, they are enemy for your sake. But concerning the choice by choice, they are beloved for the sake of the Father. For the graft, for the gift and calling of Yah are not to be repented of. For as you also at one time did disobey Yah, but now have attained compassion through their disobedience. Also, I have not, hallelujah, told I Yah. Well, Israel, you're going to have to finish reading that. Told I Yah. Told I Yah. Hallelujah. The power of Yah's Ruach. I have, Yah have allowed me, Israel, Yah, to see all of these scriptures. And I got hundreds of these scriptures. All Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Hallelujah, Daniel, all the way through, new and old. I see his love. I see how much the Abba loves me. I see his love and his wrath. I see his love and his kindness. I see whatever I see his love. The mighty one of Israel. He said, all the family of the earth, I know nobody but you. If he said that, he mean that. Hallelujah. How can I understand this and still be down? I can't. How can I understand this still be I can't. How can I understand this and don't have joy? I can't. How can I have to understand and not want to keep his commandment? I can't. How can I have to understand and want to go out and do something wrong? I can't. I can't do it. Because I understand his great love and not a Ruach of Hakadash is in me. Give me power and strength to walk through the Torah and guard my heart with all this about it. Come the issue of life. Torah, yeah. Hallelujah. That you'll be able to take rebuke, take correction, take anything. Because you say, yes, y'all, yeah, hear you, Father. I know that scripture. I won't go against that. It is written. Hallelujah. Yah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Yahweh brought here because this is Yahweh. We have heard the Torah of Yahweh tonight. You just think about this before I bring it to a close. Those of you, of us, that have spouses, they tell you they love you. You receive it. It brings forth a life and a joy, sometimes crying, tears, a family member. It calls your love to move. To the point you even break down. Someone tells you that they are Ahava you and they care for you. Yet Yahweh has shown his Ahava towards us tonight, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and, and some of us, we don't want to break. We don't want to bow down our knee unto Abba Yahweh. The affection that he has for the house of Yisrael. He wants that to reciprocate. If I may say, backfire back to him. He desires that, Yisrael. He desires us to love him as he has loved us. Hallelujah. It's not hard to do that. It's not What makes it hard is the transgression and the iniquity, the things that lie in us, Yisrael, that is not of Almighty Yahweh. And time after time, day after day, second after second, he shows his Ahava for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. And I barak Yahweh for that. Hallelujah. Let us all stand to our feet. Hallelujah. All the Ahava of Yahweh. Hallelujah. And let us turn towards Jerusalem here. Abba Yahweh, we do told at you for again another beautiful evening, another beautiful day, Yah, that you have granted unto the house of Yisrael, Yah. And as your messenger, Abba Yahweh, have spoken unto us, Abba Yahweh, we shall receive it and we shall obey it, Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh. For it is your Hava that you have sent from the Shemayims unto your people, Yisrael, not given to, the, to those that have not been called, but only unto the called and unto the chosen, Abba Yahweh. We do Baraki for all things. We do ask Yahweh, those that have traveled far and near, that you would take them home safe, Abba Yahweh, and that your Malachim will be a camp around about them, those that are here at Teshua, and those that are listening by via live stream. In all things we do, Baraki, we give you Torah 
In the mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we do cry out. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh Baraki, y'all. Shalom. Shalom.